Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. Expert tips are back, and throughout the season, we will be getting tips for upping your game straight from gameplay director Mike Wang. Chris caught up with him just before launch of the series. Check it out. All right, today we have gameplay director Mike Wang joining us on 2K TV. Mike, it's an exciting time. The fans are getting their hands on 2K23. How you doing? We're doing good, Chris. Uh, thanks for having me. We are so excited for everyone to get their hands on the game. So first off, you've been listening to fan feedback all year long during the 22 cycle. This season is just getting underway but as a player rj how valuable is it to get things started the right way it is so valuable because as coaches say plays that often start bad in bad and it's the same thing with seasons if seasons start bad there's a higher probability of them ending bad so you want to get off to a good start you want to show up ready to go let's take a look at our starters for sacramento harrison sabonis hold down the post positions for him Terrence Davis is out there with Fox, and it's Barnes, and at the three spot. 
On offense, here are the Heat. Moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. Here's Lowry. They really needed more from him in that loss to Golden State. To the inside. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And truly name a six-footer who likes to operate inside more than Lowry. He is a beast. Well, he'll run through a wall to win, but sometimes Jimmy Butler can drive his coach up a wall. Despite that tendency, though, to embrace conflict, this guy is working. I'd send it across the court to David Aldridge. You caught up with head coach Mike Brown. David. Thanks, Kevin. I expect this to be an inside-out kind of game. This team has a lot of shooters who can really get going once they hit a few. We'll see if they can get on a roll from out there. Kevin? Thank you, David. You know, hard to create spacing without the three. Well, it's something that only a handful of players have to deal with. Getting booed on draft night. Never a great feeling, but it can act as a motivator. And hopefully, Greg, that's how MP has used it, as motivation. The player feels like they're in a losing situation, but MP is doing everything he can to win over the fans. Fox, no good. And Greg, last season, Butler and Spolstra got into it on the sideline. We all saw it. Uh, it was an interesting moment. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's a good way of phrasing it. Yeah, that bang. manic intensity perhaps necessary at times for a player who competes as hard as Jim. Outside, Davis. Pass to Barnes. To the wing right side. Close in, close in. Right side, Fox over Lowry. Sacramento again missing. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here, still looking for their first win. And the shot goes in. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks the from in close. With the time out, it's called. First of the game for Sacramento. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, they need to regroup and maybe try and draw something up that can get them a clean look at the basket. Fox with the ball for Sacramento. Nothing yet up on the scoreboard for them. Davis gets a wide open look. This is in the dry spell continues. The Heat leading by eight. You know, Richard, this is hard to believe, but the Kings haven't made the playoffs since 2006, which is the longest streak right now in the NBA. And I remember them being one game away from playing us in the NBA Finals. So this has been surprising for everyone. Look, Sacramento, they have to prioritize winning because it just has not been working out. And their fans are amazing. They love some playoff basketball. Get those guys some playoff basketball. Sacramento with the ball. Following the score by Miami. Davis. That one a little long. 146 left here in the opening quarter. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on De'Aaron Fox. And you guys, a big part of what makes him be special is his incredible work ethic. This is a guy that's always in hustle mode every play, trying to do more for his team. One of the big talking points with MP, can he make the leap to the pro game? Uh, Greg, do you think his game translates? Skills-wise, he was tremendous in the college game. The question is the physical side. We'll have to find out if MP can handle it. And that one misses. And this team, Greg, drafting MP. I hope he can grow into the leader here. It might take some time, but he should, I think, find his way. And those intangibles were a big reason to draft MP. 
We'll keep an eye on him as he develops and steps into a leadership role for the team. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Yurt Savini's checked in for Adobayo. Dwayne Dedman comes in for Caleb Martin. Oladipo, he's checked in for Butler. And Vincent subbed in for Kyle Lowry. The Kings trail by 11. Mitchell passes to Monk. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Here's Medu. And that time, also a missed shot. For Miami, they've gone 5 of 6 so far from the field to start out the game. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Inside, here's Mitchell. Vincent with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively the from the paint. With the How timeout. a timeout called by Sacramento. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the work they did at the free throw line. And that's not by accident. I like how they didn't settle. They were attacking, putting pressure on the D. Making a switch here. Struce is checked in. New group on the floor. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Kayla Martin out there with Bam Adebayo. Then it's Butler. Then it's King. And it's Lowry in at the point. It's the group on the floor for Miami. The teardrop from De'Aaron. A shot that perfectly suits his game. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint. Whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Here's Lowry at the Adebayo. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Oh, great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Heat? First little foul. Third team foul. Now at the line, Bam Adebayo. One. We know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you play? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injuries Davis because of guys maybe just taking it a little Murray. too far with the physicality. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Kings have made a lot of moves to shake up their roster. De'Aaron Fox says, I think the mood is definitely better. It's like a breath of fresh air. Getting a feel for each other and seeing the chemistry come to fruition is huge. Success isn't always immediate with trades and signings, so we look toward the future. Kevin, Fox. back to you. That's all they can do. Okay, thanks, D.A. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Lowry kicks to MP. Martin against Murray. Martin dishes to MP from 13, and the shot is good. King's got five. Inside, MP does a good job of just asserting himself, doing what needs to be done to get that finish. Barnes looking around. Back to Fox. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. 
And last season, Bam Adebayo said it was disrespectful that he wasn't named a finalist for Defensive Player of the Year. What do you think? Well, Kevin, no arguing here. He's definitely an elite defender. Second team all defense, three years running. Great toughness and versatility. Yeah, nice. finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Now here's Davis. Good, and it's Fox who picks Davis. up the assist. Davis has got his second bucket. Showing the point guard instincts there. Fox with great vision. Butler kicks the line. Now the feed to MP. Out left to the wing. Here's Autobio. And Adebayo throws it down. And this is the level of intensity Adebayo brings. He's terrific at channeling that energy on the offensive glass. Now here's Davis. He had 10 points in the win against Charlotte. Over MP. And Davis can't get it to go. Okay, now I think he's starting to get in his own head right now. Maybe he's overthinking things a little bit. And as a result, he's just been off. 
And Butler just can't be stopped. I mean, even when the D knocks him around, he, he keeps his focus on the basket. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Heat with some changes. Max Cruz has checked in for Caleb Martin. Victor Oladipo comes in for Kent. And Vincent subbed in for Kyle Lowry. If a player is free throw, good Butler. And Butler commands hard work. Guys, Bam Adebayo getting it done for the Heat. His stat line has been terrific. As the quarter ends, he's already got a double-double. And don't go away. We'll be right back. the second half upon us we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be You look at Bam Adebayo in this game, guys. He has been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. On the court for Sacramento, Harris and Sabonis hold down the post positions for him. De'Aaron Fox out there with Davis, and it's Barnes, and at the three, the small four. Two foul. Bam Adebayo. First personal foul. First the Kings shoot their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. For Sacramento, Terrence Davis, two.
And the first one drops. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have and I <laughs> never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now. And you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's mutual. And Zulawi will bring it up for the Heat. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Pass to Martin. And stolen by Barnes. Outside for Davis. Now the pass to Sabonis. For a three, Murray. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. That's on the defense there. When MP senses one of his guys is open, he hits him right away. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Outside, Davis. Fox passes to Barnes. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now is massive. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Here's Fox after the made shot from Kyle Lowry. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible when it comes to attacking the glass. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in the rhythm on the offense right now. Barnes outside. Back to Fox. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Six to shoot. Passes it to Barnes. Over Butler. Again, the miss by the King. And he's very confident from that range. But he can't make him up. Now the key member of that 73 win Golden State Warrior team was Harrison Barnes. And almost the forgotten part of the famed death lineup. It was Barnes, Steph, Clay, Draymond, and Andre Iguodala. Harrison, a big piece of that 2015 championship team as well. Timeout called by the Kings. And the play-in tournament gray is here to stay, but the terminology is somewhat illegal. Is that going to be part of the playoffs? You hear people say it's not the playoffs, it's the play-in. Maybe the term postseason should cover both the play-in and the playoff. Something to think about. It's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. And so Miami takes this margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. Well, folks, that's going to do it. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. So long, everyone.